Just after Netflix's Umbrella Academy Season 3 snagged the top spot from Stranger Things Season 4 Part 1, Stranger Things came back with a Season 4 Part 2, snagging their rightful throne once again. So, first of all, I just want to say this. That was a stylishly well-put season, but unlike the previous seasons, it did not end with a slain villain or a closed door. To the other dimension, it actually was a major cliffhanger, suggesting a certain Season 5. In Part 1, we saw the new villain, who turned out to be the boss of every single villain that brought chaos to Hawkins, the Demogorgons, the Mind Flayer, and other eerie creatures coming out of the Upside Down. In the previous seasons, Elle and her friends somehow managed to end the reign of terror of the Demogorgons and the Mind Flayer as the series came to an end. This season, however, was a bit different in a way that we all knew that the ending wasn't the real ending yet. Apart from that, this was also the first time Elle fought using her mind. A lot of lives are on the line. Will Max soon wake up? This season gave us a few answers, like who the villain really is. But it also left us with more questions. So despite the foggy theories, how did the season end? Has Vecna been stopped? Or is he still alive? Is Papa, Eleven's father slash mentor, really dead? This video will answer that and more. But first, make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons for more videos like this. Watch out for major spoilers because we are literally spilling everything from the upside down. Now, let's begin. Isn't it funny? Stranger Things' most recent season is finally here after a long wait, and it wraps up fast. Blame our binge-watching habits, but such is the life of the product of a streaming service that dumps its content all at once. Despite over four hours of substance, Stranger Things Season 4 Part 2 just doesn't quite fill the need left after Part 1's finale. Where Season 4 Part 1 left off, Part 2 begins with our heroes dispersed and Vecna's plan for Hawkins gaining momentum. The previous episode's amazing revelations regarding the identity of the villain perfectly positioned the following two installments for a spectacular conclusion and raised the bar for the audience. Eleven regains her power in the two brand new episodes and becomes determined to return to Hawkins to face Vecna. Hopper and Joyce are reunited in Russia, but they must also figure out how to return home. The remainder of the gang prepares for combat in Hawkins to defend their town. What is the piggyback? The season 4 episode 9, The Piggyback, is an exhilarating, action-packed spectacle. Just like all Stranger Things finales, The Piggyback makes sure it's setting up Stranger Things' last act as much as it is bringing this one to a close, because the series still has one more season to go. Our main characters have a strategy to defeat the threat approaching them. Just like in all great Stranger Things finales, Hawkins' team, Nancy, has a complex four-part plan to assault Vecna while he is defenseless. In Siberia, Team Hopper decides to fight some of the captured Demogorgons by going back to the Soviet jail. Attacking any Demo creature should buy the people in Hawkins some time because upside-down monsters function as a hive mind. But the most original scheme comes from Team Eleven in the Nevada Desert. Mike, Will, and crew are aware that they will not be able to return to Hawkins in time to aid in the defeat of Vecna. Thank goodness Eleven understands they won't have to. Being a psychic and all, Eleven has access to skills that others do not. Just so happens that psychokinetics is one of those skills. Eleven understands that Vecna will invade her head when she strikes Max. Eleven is also capable of that. She remembers having previously been able to access both Willy and her mother's mind. Vecna will then enter Max's head, where Eleven will join him, and there they will engage in the ultimate psychic conflict. Is Vecna dead? Eleven struggles in her mental conflict with Vecna. Maybe it's because Vecna is number one and hence stronger than Eleven. And maybe it's because he knows more about both other people's brains and the upside down. Vecna, though, comes really close to defeating Eleven. Mike's desperation yelling that he loves her in her unconscious form is the only thing that keeps Eleven's skin from being destroyed. That provides her just enough psychic power to fling Vecna out of Max's reach before he can finish his sinister ritual. The monster is completely removed from Max's memory when Steve, Robin, and Nancy is upside down. Hawkins throws several Molotov cocktails at him. Vecna is severely damaged by the fire, yet he is not entirely destroyed. Although, we don't really see it. He reportedly slips away into the Upside Down's periphery to lick his wounds and heal. 
Will, who has access to Vecna's mind through his prior work as a mind flayer, says near the end of the episode that he is certain Vecna is still alive. Is Max dead? The biggest unanswered issue in Stranger Things Season 4 is unquestionably what will happen to Max Mayfield. In the final episode, Max dies. And she dies horrifically. To put it simply, her eyes are whitened, her limbs are savagely crushed, and blood is streaming down her face like tears. He prevents Vecna from finishing all except the complete destruction of Max's eyes and the crushing of her skull in her ceremonial demise. Vecna, though, uses enough force to assassinate Max and unlock the fourth and last gate. Doctor in a Hawkins hospital subsequently certify Max's biological demise after Lucas reaffirms their claim that her heart stopped for an entire minute. Even so, Max is still, albeit barely, alive. Eleven uses some of her telepathic abilities while still controlling Max's consciousness to nudge her to continue living. Although, we're not sure how. That seems to work. Despite Max's Max's consciousness being deeply submerged in a coma, her body continues to function physically. The issue with Max's consciousness is that her essence, conscience, personality, or whatever you want to call it, is nowhere to be discovered when Eleven visits her at the hospital and enter Max's brain once more. Max's body is damaged and her head is empty. Stranger Things isn't bad enough to give one of its young characters the Dementor's kiss, so the real Max must be somewhere out there. Where, then, might she be? In search of a tool to finally defeat Vecna, we assume she is off somewhere in the Upside Down, or in a region we haven't yet encountered. Who dies in the Stranger Things Season 4 finale? Well, even before the finale, there have been certain demises such as that of Chrissy, Fred, and Patrick, but later episodes reveal deaths of much more important characters. In these last two episodes, three other significant characters pass away in addition to Max's type of demise. The first is when Dr. Brenner gives his life to free Eleven from the military in order to buy his companions more time. Unfortunate Eddie Munson follows suit and also offers himself to a horde of demo bats. The final fatality is less sacrificial and also a little bit darkly humorous. The upside down dam collapses, crushing basketball captain Jason Carver and slicing his body in half. What happens to Hawkins? Remember that whenever Vecna takes someone, a gate between Hawkins and the Upside Down opens, according to Dr. Brenner. The figurative wall spreading the Upside Down and right side up functions like a dam. A few cracks won't hurt you, but numerous cracks strategically placed might be disastrous. Vecna is aware that four gates are the ideal number. He simply needs to murder four individuals in order to completely destroy the wall separating realms. His clock always chimes four times because of of this. Vecna is able to unlock the fourth gate required to pierce the wall separating Hawkins and the Upside Down by briefly taking Max. At least 22 Hawkins residents are killed, and many others are displaced as a result of the rapid and brutal reaction. According to the local lore, a freak 7.6 magnitude earthquake rocked the village. But how much longer will Hawkins residents be able to accept natural explanations for phenomenon that are obviously supernatural? Even the most sane Hawkins residents would not have much more of a choice in the issue, going by the final scene of Season 4. Yes, the so-called earthquake was just the start. The official Upside Down has finally arrived in Hawkins, and its impact is only growing. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed that video. And if you did, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more videos like this.